Hi, my name is Renee Keen. I will be recording this video and uploading it to YouTube in an unlisted manner. It will be viewed by my faculty, my professor, and myself. Do you give your consent? I do. Okay. Um, so we're going to do a chest, uh, a, a chest and thorax and lung examination today. Okay. I'm going to have you be um, switching positions and I'll tell you what to do, okay? So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to start by out by inspecting his anterior uh, chest. Just breathe normal, sir. Okay. I'm looking for any chest wall deformities and I'm inspecting the, the posterior. Just so breathe again. Okay. Um, no um, deformities or abnormalities seen um, on the chest wall on post anterior posterior. Then the next thing I'm going to be assessing is your respiratory rate, anterior, okay, breathe, and uh, posterior, which there is no acute distress observed, um, breathing is normal, okay, anteriorly and posteriorly. Okay, and the next thing I'm going to do is looking at your fingernail. I'm looking at his fingernails for any cyanosis, any clubbing of the fingernails, splinter hemorrhages, and I'm also just going to assess his cap refill really quick. Um, all with the normal limits. I don't see any cyanosis or clubbing of the nails present. Okay. Um, the next thing we're going to do, sir, is we're going to move on to palpation. So can you sit forward? Okay. And then, um, so I'm going to be just uh, palpating for any air pockets, um, any um, postochondral uh, tenderness. Do you feel any tenderness? Okay. Okay, and then um, we're going to move on to um, tactile. I'm going to be assessing for tactile firmness, um, anteriorly and posteriorly. All right, sir. Can you say, um, I'm going to have you say 99. Okay. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. Okay, great. Now I'm going to be testing for respiratory excursion. So I'm going to be placing my hand right here and then take a nice deep breath. Okay, great. Um, it's good as uh, testing for symmetry. Uh, can you turn around? I'm gonna be, other way. I'm going to be um, doing the same thing. So stand up straight. Okay. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. Okay, and then I'm going to be first um, trick spring again. Okay, nice deep breath. And then Okay, you can step forward. Okay, then um, the next thing I'm going to be doing is auscultating uh, anteriorly and posteriorly. So, every time I put my stethoscope on, um, just take a nice deep breath. And then the, the last thing we're going to do is percussion, and I'm going to be using my um, my left hand, uh, which is my non-dominant hand, middle finger, and then uh, percussing with my dominant middle, right hand, middle finger.
All right, can you turn around, sir? So I'm going to be listening to his uh, lungs on the back now, and then percussion. Um, the next thing I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be doing uh, what we call diaphragmatic excursion. Okay. So this is where I um, just maps out the movement of the diaphragm during inspiration and expiration. Okay, sir. So I want you to uh, take a nice deep breath. Okay. Okay, let's do it again. Okay, hold on. Okay. So this is about where the area um, becomes dull. So I mark it. All right, so now I'm going to have you take a nice deep breath and hold the, yeah, Harry? Okay, sorry, go, go. And hold your expiration. Hold your expiration. So this is about the area that it's different and this the space between the two is uh, the dia diaphragmatic excursion. Okay, sir. Um, you're good to go. Uh, here, you can turn around. Do you have any questions? <sighs> 